Alright guys, I got a 2011 Transit Connect today that has a low power issue. They were going down the road and that lost all power, so they had no acceleration response. And what it has to do with is the throttle position sensor right there, which is part of the electronic throttle body. It's got dual sensors in there, A and B and they mirror each other and if it doesn't jive it will actually shut down the throttle body to a idle only or depending on how severe it is it may let it go into a, a limited power mode and this is real common it has a P2135 for the correlation between the A and B sensor so we've been monitoring it and it's real common so we're gonna go ahead and change it out today and since the Transit Connect is basically a big focus with the box in the back, I'm going to uh, replace the throttle body on here, and that'll cover the focus and the Transit Connect procedure. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is pull this PCV vent hose right here. There's a little tang on it. Release it, and then pull. Get it up to the side. And then we're going to pull this worm, worm drive clamp right here on the air intake snorkel. Just seven millimeter. Loosen it up. And then pop all these tangs on the air filter. I'll be able to pull that off as a unit. Undo your mass airflow sensor connector, and then we can put that over there. And now we got free access to that throttle body. There's four bolts in that throttle body. Go ahead and yank it out, and then we'll deal with the electrical connector after that. Once you got all four bolts out, it might stick a little bit, but it'll come off. Get that electrical connector off. You can get this out of here. Take some brake clean and a rag and clean that ceiling surface. These electronic throttle body systems are very sensitive to any kind of uh, air leaks. Now the new one comes with a gasket array built into it. Fully complete. Once you got it all cleaned up, we can bolt it back on. These are 89 inch pounds. We could do them in a crisscross pattern here. And then I put dielectric grease on the uh, connectors just so they have better continuity. It's an electrical grease. Same thing on the mass airflow sensor, I put it on there too. It's all very important for the um, calculation of the airflow and torque on these electronic throttle body systems. When you put your air box back on here, make sure you got all three tangs on here connected up and at the hooks right here go all the way through. So we got that properly sealed. Connect that back up, tighten down your clamp, and make sure you get this PCV line fully seated in there until it clicks. Once we got it all back together like this, it's all tight and secure and sealed up. Check all your connections, make sure everything's fully seated. We're going to have to do a battery reset on the PCM so that we can clear those old values and of course the DTC and then it'll, we'll let it idle and uh, learn that new throttle body and the airflow characteristics. And there should be a link popping up about now to show you how to do that. 